Is Earth being watched by something not of this world? A NASA insider has just leaked documents that change everything we thought we knew about the comet. Do we have the technology and the ability to intercept and deal with in the future anything alien? Officially, no. 3i Atlas. This isn't just another space rock, it's an interstellar visitor with a trajectory that has top scientists at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory losing sleep. The official story is that it will miss Mars, but the leaked data paints a much, much grimmer picture. We're talking about a potential collision, an event that could rewrite the face of the red planet forever. The thing nobody tells you is that this comet is behaving in ways we've never seen before, almost as if it's being controlled. Red planet, red alert. You see, space is big, unimaginably vast. So when something changes course, it's a big deal. For the astronomers at Harvard Center for Astrophysics, it was just another Tuesday. They were running routine orbital calculations, the kind of stuff they do in their sleep. But then the numbers for an interstellar comet named 3i Atlas started to look weird. What many overlooked at first was a tiny shift in its trajectory. But this was no ordinary shift. The comet, a visitor from another star system, was tightening its path around the sun and its new course had a terrifying destination written all over it, Mars. The initial reports were hushed, passed between departments with a growing sense of unease. The margin of error, the little bit of wiggle room in the calculations, was shrinking. And it was shrinking fast. Within days, the projections showed 3i Atlas passing well within the orbit of Mars' moon, Phobos. To put it mildly, that's like a bullet grazing your skin instead of flying past you a hundred feet away. At a distance of less than 6,000 miles from the Martian surface, the comet wouldn't just be a pretty sight in the sky, it would be a planet-altering event. This was the moment the whispers turned into frantic, classified emails. Something was pushing this comet, something was guiding it, and nobody knew what it was. The thing nobody tells you about comets is that they are notoriously unpredictable. They're like cosmic cats chasing their own tails of gas and dust. But 3i Atlas was different. Its movements were too precise, too intentional. The initial data was quickly sent to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, or JPL, the best of the best when it comes to tracking celestial objects. The hope was that Harvard had made a mistake, that some variable was missed, some calculation was off. But JPL's findings, which came back in a matter of hours, only confirmed the terrifying truth. The comet was on a collision trajectory. And that's when the real story, the one they didn't want you to know, began. This wasn't just about a rock hitting another rock. This was about billions of dollars of equipment on and around Mars. We're talking about the Perseverance rover, the Curiosity rover, the InSight lander, and a fleet of orbiters from multiple countries. These are our eyes and ears on another world, our robotic ambassadors to the cosmos. An impact from 3i Atlas wouldn't just scratch the surface. It would create a planetary cataclysm. The energy released would be immense, a force so powerful it would dwarf our most destructive weapons. The impact would create a crater 60 miles wide and 5 miles deep, vaporizing anything within hundreds of miles. The very geology of Mars would be rewritten in an instant. But not all things are what they seem. The initial shock at JPL soon gave way to a deeper, more profound mystery. As they pointed their most powerful instruments at the approaching comet, they discovered something that defied explanation. The comet was pulsing. Every 17 minutes, like clockwork, it would erupt with a precise plume of gas. This wasn't the random outgassing of a typical comet warming up near the sun. This was a rhythm, a heartbeat. Each pulse was a tiny nudge, subtly but surely altering its path, keeping it locked on its collision course with Mars. It was as if the comet was steering itself. The implications were staggering. Could this be a natural phenomenon we've never witnessed before? Or was it something else entirely? The conversation at NASA shifted from planetary defense to something far more profound. They were no longer just tracking a comet, they were observing a guided object of unknown origin. And it was getting closer every single day. The secret meetings began, but the biggest shock was yet to come. A Comet with a Heartbeat Many people are crazy about conspiracy theories, but what was unfolding at NASA was stranger than any fiction. The discovery of the 17-minute pulse sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Gravitational models, the complex equations used to predict the paths of planets and asteroids, were failing. 
You see, these models are built on the assumption that objects in space are passive, that they are slaves to the pull of gravity. But 3i Atlas was an outlaw. Each rhythmic puff of gas was a tiny act of rebellion, a small course correction that, when added up over millions of miles, made all the difference. It was the difference between a near miss and a direct hit. Scientists scrambled for an explanation. One theory was that the comet was a binary object, two smaller comets orbiting each other, and their dance was causing the regular outgassing. But the math didn't add up. The precision was too perfect, too mechanical. Another idea was that a chunk of the comet's surface was made of a super volatile material that heated and cooled with incredible regularity as it rotated. It was a plausible theory, but it didn't fully explain the sheer force of the pulses. They were too powerful to be just a bit of melting ice. To put it mildly, the scientists were stumped. The thing nobody tells you is that our solar system is a shooting gallery. We are constantly being bombarded by rocks from space. Most are no bigger than a grain of sand and burn up harmlessly in our atmosphere. But every now and then, a big one comes along. We have systems in place, like the Planetary Defense Coordination Office, or PDCO, to watch for these threats. But 3i Atlas was a different kind of monster. It was an interstellar object moving at a blistering speed of nearly 190,000 miles per hour. That's almost 90 kilometers per second. At that velocity, even a glancing blow would be catastrophic. The PDCO was alerted, but what could they do? Our current technology for deflecting an asteroid is like trying to stop a cannonball with a ping pong paddle, and against a high-speed interstellar object, it was completely useless. This is where the leaked documents become so crucial. They show a growing sense of panic and disbelief within NASA. Emails fly back and forth filled with frantic calculations and wild speculation. They reveal a secret debate. Do they go public with the information and risk global panic, or do they keep it under wraps and hope for a miracle? What many overlooked in the panic was the nature of the comet itself. It was estimated to weigh 10 billion tons with a dense metallic core. An object like that hitting Mars would unleash energy equivalent to 2 million megatons of TNT. That's more than 100,000 times the power of the largest nuclear bomb ever detonated. The drama was increasing. The comet wasn't just a threat to our machines, it was a threat to the planet itself. The impact would throw billions of tons of debris into the Martian atmosphere, creating a dense ring of dust that would blot out the sun for years, maybe even centuries. This would trigger a global winter, plunging the planet into a deep freeze. The impact could also literally shake the planet to its core, potentially reigniting long dormant volcanoes and fracturing the crust. The very atmosphere of Mars, thin as it is, could be blasted away into space. Mars, our best hope for a second home, could be rendered a barren, hostile wasteland for millennia. But the comet's message wasn't just for Mars, it was for Earth. A warning shot. You see, what happens on Mars doesn't just stay on Mars. The potential impact of 3i Atlas was forcing a conversation that humanity has been avoiding for decades. Are we alone? And if we're not, are we prepared for what's out there? The comet's rhythmic pulse, its seemingly controlled trajectory, had moved the discussion at NASA from the realm of natural disaster to something far more unsettling. The unspoken question hung in the air of every classified meeting. Was this an attack? Was this a warning shot from an unknown intelligence? The thing nobody tells you about planetary defense is that it's all based on one simple idea, finding the threat early enough to do something about it. But 3i Atlas was an interstellar object. It came from the dark spaces between the stars, a place we know almost nothing about. It appeared in our solar system with very little warning, moving at speeds we can't possibly match. The leaked documents show that NASA, along with the European Space Agency and the Chinese National Space Administration, held emergency meetings to discuss the implications. The draft agreements they drew up were unprecedented, calling for rapid data exchange and a coordinated global response. But a response to what? How do you respond to a threat you don't understand? What many overlooked was the psychological impact of the situation. The possibility that 3i Atlas was not a natural object changed everything. If it was a piece of technology, a probe, or a weapon, then its trajectory was no accident. Mars wasn't a random target. It was chosen. Why? Was it because of our presence there? Were our rovers and orbiters seen as a trespass? Or was it something more symbolic? 
Mars has always represented our future, our first step towards becoming a multiplanetary species. An attack on Mars would be an attack on that future, a message that we should stay home. This is where the story turns back to us, here on Earth. The potential impact on Mars would have very real consequences for us. Billions of tons of Martian rock and dust would be ejected into space. Some of it would be captured by Mars's gravity, forming that dusty ring. But a significant amount would be blasted into interplanetary space, creating a new, unpredictable debris field right in our cosmic backyard. Some of that debris would inevitably find its way to Earth. We would see a dramatic increase in meteor showers, beautiful but potentially dangerous. And if a large enough chunk of Mars made the journey, we could be facing our own impact event. To put it mildly, the situation was a wake-up call. We are cosmic infants, just beginning to take our first steps out into the universe. We send out our little robotic explorers, we listen for signals from the stars, and we dream of what's out there. But we've never really considered what might be looking back. 3i Atlas, whether it was a natural comet behaving strangely or something else entirely, was a reminder that the universe is not empty, and it is not always friendly. The silence we've been hearing from the cosmos might not be because there's no one out there. It might be because everyone else is smart enough to keep quiet. Is this all a hoax, or is the truth staring us in the face? Fact from Fiction So as you're watching this, you're probably asking yourself, is this real? Did a NASA scientist really leak documents about a self-steering comet heading for Mars? This is the point in the story where we have to take a step back and look at the big picture to separate what we know from what is being speculated. The thing is, when a story like this breaks, it's easy to get lost in the mystery and the drama. But the truth is often more complex and in some ways more interesting. Let's start with the comet itself. Comet Atlas, officially designated C-2019Y4, Atlas, was a real comet, and for a while it was the talk of the astronomical world. It was discovered in December of 2019 and was brightening so rapidly that scientists thought it might become one of the brightest comets in decades, visible to the naked eye. But then, just as it was getting interesting, it disintegrated. It broke apart into smaller pieces a common fate for comets as they get closer to the sun. There was never any danger of it hitting Mars or any other planet. So where did the story of 3i Atlas and the collision course come from? This is where it gets murky. There have been no confirmed leaks from NASA about a comet on a collision course with Mars. No credible scientist has come forward with evidence of a self-steering comet. The story, as dramatic as it is, appears to be a work of fiction, a what-if scenario that combines real scientific concepts with a healthy dose of imagination. The video you saw, the one that sparked all this, is a brilliant piece of storytelling, but it's not a documentary. Is it possible that these fictional stories are a form of soft disclosure, preparing us for a truth we aren't ready for? What do you think? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more explorations into the unknown.